Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial for File Browser 2020. Our asset is a file browser for Windows Standalone and UVP, Mac OS and Linux. It shows native dialogues but can also extend it with custom providers like Runtime File Browser for Android and others. For example, it's possible to run it with WebGL or any other platform. So, let's start. After you imported it, you find it under Tools, File Browser, Configuration. This opens a window. Let's put it here. And let's go through the tabs. <coughs> the first tab is the configuration tab. It lets you let you enable things like debug logs for our asset or shows under Windows the native file dialog. Then it has a tab for <coughs> the um, prefabs. As we can see, we already have the file browser prefab in the scene. So if we delete it, for example, then we can add it again. Then is a test drive tab. There you can uh, basically test all the functions. So if you choose a file, you see here the chosen path. Or you can open a folder like that. Or you can open the save file dialog. Then it has a help section, for example, for the manual. There you can see the complete manual with the documentation. Or you ha can access the API if you want to use our asset with scripting. <coughs> or you can go to the forum thread if you need some help or further information. So, then last but not least there's an about tab there you see a short readme where the asset is described a version um, history and an update tab to check for updates of our asset so furthermore it has some demo scenes that can be extracted there are basically two two different demo scenes. One is the async version. <coughs> can open files. And the synchronous version of it. As I said, we also have an integration for runtime file browser that uses the exact same API. So if we start that, you see it's not a native um, file browser, but the one from Runtime File Browser, but it works exactly the same. We also provide a, a simple example file where you can see every method with various commented uh, usages. For example, the open single file, that's the synchronous version where you can get the single file by just um, getting it as a string. Or we also have provide examples for the asyn asynchronous uh, version with the callbacks and so on. So I think it's uh, very easy to use it. You just can use it as, as you can see here, as an instance. So you don't have to add it to a scene or take care about it. So that's basically all. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.